Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's Thoughtful Thursday, and it is April 8th, 2021. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And I have just a couple of things I want to talk about today. And I'm going to keep it short, like I usually do, so that I don't eat up too much space on my phone. Because I actually just tried to shoot this video, and it wasn't recording anymore. <coughs> Frustrating, but... What are you going to do? So if you've been following this channel, uh, you know that all seven songs from Stardust and Chemicals are out now. And the song videos are available for you to watch and listen to. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. I know that I got a lot out of this album release, as exhausting as it has been. And last week I posted every day on social media. And with this record, I did a thing that I'd never done before. And that was I went through some of my friends on Facebook and private messaged a whole bunch of people and ask them to go listen and tell me what songs they liked. So if you're watching this and you're one of those people, I really appreciate your feedback and I appreciate you taking the time to listen to it because I know everybody's really busy and it's a hard time. So thanks for checking it out. And now it's on to the next one. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, sustainability and sustainable practices uh, because that's something that I feel really strongly about. It's a lifestyle and a way of living. And I think it's really important that we raise awareness about good ways to live. And not that I am perfect by any means, I'm definitely still working on living sustainably and practicing sustainable um, behaviors and habits, uh, but I think I do a pretty good job. I like to think I'm a pretty conscious individual on this subject, and I think I've learned from the best because my parents uh, love the environment and nature, and, and they try to the best of their abilities to, to love nature, respect it, and do the right thing for the most part. To start off, I just think that Living sustainably is, it starts coming from a place of thinking about the, the world and the earth as a living, thriving, adapting ecosystem. So that means uh, the ecosystems of the earth, the natural world, and human civilization, and all the stuff that goes along with it. I think everything is connected, and to realize that and to act on that is tricky. But so I just want to keep it, keep it simple today and just talk about a couple of things that I do. So number one, I think that it's really important that we buy clothing and commodities that are sustainably sourced or recycled or things like that. So if you're going to buy something new, ideally it comes from a place where it was recycled, where it, was, where it came from recycled materials. Uh, it's made out of, you know, organic stuff, et cetera, et cetera. That's a tricky one and a hard one to do, but I've been trying really hard to shop only at places that are sustainable, to the best of my ability. Again, all this stuff uh, can come off as really critical and hard to do, but I think that if we all just try a little bit harder, things will be better for us and for nature. So I'm always linking to Tentree, and I actually just bought a backpack, which I don't need, but I'm really excited about it because it was made from 31 recycled plastic bottles, excessive algal bloom as the foam, which is cool. I don't quite understand it, but that part is cool. And then they use a bunch of recycled plastic for the buckles and all the other stuff. So I'm really excited to rock this new backpack of mine that was sustainably sourced. And from now on, I'm going to be buying clothes that have that are made with organic cotton and hemp and um, ideally socks, although it's hard to find socks without polyester and acrylic in them. But uh, I'm going to try anyway. So that's one thing, buy sustainably sourced materials if you can. Another thing that I always do is when I'm heating up water, like in the kitchen sink or for the shower, I have a, like a, what was a protein uh, container, just a plastic tub, and I use that to capture the water as it's heating up. And I live in the desert, so it's important that we save water and conserve water as much as we can. So when I take a shower and when I heat up water to wash dishes and stuff, I always use some container to catch that water as it's heating up instead of just letting it run down the drain, try to capture it. And then I can use that to water my plants. Number one was buy sustainably sourced materials and commodities if you can. Number two, um, capture water as it's heating up in the shower and before you do your dishes. Uh, and number three, I think advocacy is really important here. I'm, I don't probably do enough in this area, but I really think we need better public transportation in our cities and between our cities. And I know that if there was a train or a really good bus that was reliable and that I didn't have to get up at an insane hour to catch, that I would probably take it. 
um, or if it was more widely used by the general public. The buses here in Tucson, I think, are mostly used by uh, really low-income people. So I'm actually a little bit, a little bit wary to ride the bus here. Uh, just because Tucson can be kind of rough. So if there was a train, something that was really well maintained, I'd totally use it. And it's a real shame that Amtrak uh, doesn't get the funding that it needs and deserves. Those are my three sustainable thoughts for this week. Buy sustainable if you can, um, conserve water, and advocate for public transportation. Or good bicycle pathways would be huge. We have a lot of those in Tucson, but it could be even better. So yeah, those are my three sustainable practices this week. Just something to think about. And if you haven't checked out the album, Stardust and Chemicals, that just came out last week, go give it a listen and let me know what you think. That's my update for this week. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And I'll see you all next week for another Thoughtful Thursday. Peace, everybody.